and now for the windows let's say we want a window out here two out here two out here and one out here as well and things will be just similarly done and we'll just make a sketch on this plane now to this Should cut it out. Hold for the door window. Now for on this plane. First of all, we can mirror it out even in the sketches, but if you wish to mirror a solid body or something, some cuts or like that, you might just like to mirror after you make the extrusion. That would be more easier for you. And if you just, ex you know, mirror things before extrusion, all the things will be connected to each other. And you might not be able to change one um, if you need to. So let's draw some windows. And mirror them. Mirror about this one there. So if I now cut extrude them they will produce the same amount of result so let's say so happy with this and just mirror these two on the opposite side this time the mirror plane with the front plane so there we have the windows the doors the two rooms the mid pillar and yes this one if we wish to have the window and let's say we want to have this one in this side so we'll just mirror this one first let's see choose which one of us was Cut this through three. Sorry, I'm not more face. It's gonna be cut next through three. Right. And the mirror face will be right thing. Let's see the results. There. And if we, let's say, one another window out here, we just simply do the mirror, choose the front plane. And both of them are mirrored. All right, now all the windows, doors are done. Now, if you want any kind of windows or doors, let's just say we want the door out here. Make a sketch on it. Section it out. we will be looking for a little thinner section of door and not and covering covering entire of it we need to have some clearances there i say this would be good enough Move the section view Extrude it Uh, 
and since we will be needing some kind of hinges or something like those we will be just having an offset of around 0.5 or maybe 0 0.05 meters there's the gap and just we edit it out and since it's not going to be blind so from surface and our surface selection sorry about that our surface would be this one going to be let's say point zero five all right good enough and we just copy it or mirror it whatever we want in the other sides as well And since this is a disconnected body, it would be better for us if we just used bodies to mirror. So that's okay. we select this one as a body. Let's see what happens. So there. We get the body out here and all the clearances as well. These clearances are necessary because you know just for moving and opening the, or closing the doors or there will be too much friction producing too much heat and even in the rainy seasons they will be jamming as the these doors are usually made of wood and would usually soak a lot of water now let's just roughly draw a little bit of hinge make a sectional view So to this one. and extrude it it would be offset for about half a meters and would be around 0.35 meters long there now we just make patterns of it so direction is just going to be a line it's going to be an extrude you might just like to use bodies to patterns as well and for the time being we we'll leave it now and we'll see what happens Sorry about that. I'll just pattern it once more as bodies to pattern. Maybe I just need to check out here. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's it. Mouse unmark the mouse results. That's why it would have just engaged itself with the walls. That's why it was disturbing. So now just let's pattern it out. I'll be preferring to use bodies to pattern instead of features. 
like this one choose direction to be this one let's see if it be exactly the same as the height of this one all right and now we might just pattern both of this let's do it again What is to pattern this one and this one? The distance will be around 0.5 meters, or maybe more. Let's say one meters. Remove the sectional view. See, there's the results, and now we could just change the distance to minimize our effort. That's 1.5, much better. Now we could just mirror this whole thing out and produce the same result for this door as well. Now let's do it. Mirror plane would be the right plane. And the body is to pattern, let's just select the mail area. There. So we can see the similar thing right there. These are the hinges, you might just want a door lock out here. We'll be just leaving it for the time being and using some kind of window maybe let's sketch on this plane use section view all right For now, we'll just be covering the entire area, even though this is not the true phenomena in practical situations. But we'll just do it for the ease. Transcatch plane up to surface, up to next would be easier since it will just cover the entire part. But the problem is, it just selected the merge results. For this, you should not select the merge results. You have to uncheck it. Otherwise, the, you will not be able to differentiate the, both the surfaces. All right. This would be the same for all the windows. You could just mirror it. Or pattern it, whatever you wish to do. Similar thing using the right plane for the opposite sides. Bodies to mirror there. And let's say we want these covered as well. Let's do this. SOLIDWORKS is trying to make things easier for me and trying to understand which section, which point section do I need at the moment. Do the same thing for these two as well. I'll be just considering windows in the outer periphery. Let's 
Yes. In this tutorial, we could just even show the up to vertex. For that, let's just uncheck the sectional view, extrude base boss, and up to vertex for that. Oh, it would just make things a little clumsy. Up to next. Let's check it out. Similar thing. The moment we didn't uncheck the merge results, the same things happen. Let's just edit it now. Uncheck the merge results. That's it. Merge it once again. Instead of features, I'd like to choose the bodies. Right plane. See what happens there. Both of our this side windows are covered now, and we'll just do the same thing for the opposite sides. Front plane there. 